kind of a luxury style of bike touring, isn't it? Just riding here along this European coastline. Very lovely. <laughs> Hey, this is the first day on the new ride. Got a new bike yesterday and just getting used to her. Um, really like it though. We're on our way to the airport right now to collect the detox because we are not a resident of France, so we get our tax reimbursed, but we have to go to a little kiosk that's at the airport to actually uh, get the refund for this. So that's what we're doing right now. Kind of held us up in our travel for a day, but maybe a day and a half, depending on how this goes. The airport's only four miles away. But we will um, we will get this all sorted out and uh, I'll let you know if I fall off my bike. <laughs> we set out into the beautiful morning, Juliana on her brand new bike. It was just one little hitch. We had paid several hundred dollars in taxes that was all to be refunded. A detax. Supposedly we could claim it at the nearby La Rochelle Airport and then we would be sent a refund. Coming into La Rochelle Airport to get our tax money back. On the, uh, on the bicycle we just bought. So we've arrived here at the customs tax refund place, but it's closed. Um, there isn't a kiosk, uh, as we were kind of led to believe. Um, so we need to wait. It's probably going to end up taking pretty much the whole day for us to get this thing taken care of. We'll see, but nothing's easy. Nothing's easy. Okay, I think we finally got this uh, little detax situation solved here at the La Rochelle airport. Took pretty much all day. It's coming up on four o'clock now. So we've kind of lost another day, but uh, we're gonna head down to Roche Fort and see if we can get a room there. And hopefully we can start some miles going. I found my cat ears. They look a little funky, but when it's windy, like it seems like it's gonna be today, or it has been so far, uh, boy, they really help. They just cut the wind noise down out of your ears, and it just really, really helps. So I'm wearing the cat ears uh, until this wind kind of dies down. Greetings from La Rochelle Airport in France. Three months after our ride was over, we gave up on ever seeing that refund. Three months and a day after, it finally came through. We woke up in Rochefort, eager to be on the road again and to get some miles behind us. Is it a drawbridge? I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. Getting a little hot. Why, thank you. <laughs> I'm guessing that this is a ferry crossing, huh? Probably, yeah. Okay, you've got the tickets. And I think we're in time. I think they're pretty loaded, so. Oh, what an interesting idea. So this whole thing just runs on these pulleys, I guess, huh? Very interesting. How are you doing this morning? Great. Good. Good morning from the uh, ferry at Rochefort. Heading down towards, I think it's the Bay of Bordeaux or the Gulf of Bordeaux or maybe it's the Gulf of Garonne. I'm not sure. It's just an inlet of the ocean that heads down towards Bordeaux in the Bordeaux region. So we're kind of starting to wrap up our tour of the Atlantic. The wind has died down. It's no longer windy. Thank Considerably. Goodness. Thank thank goodness. That's awesome. And I still haven't fallen off my new bike. No. Yes. Look at that baby. Mm -hmm. Look at that baby. She's a tough one. She's a lot to handle. Oh, you know? 
but, but I, I think she's her. I think she's very happy with it. Very happy. Look how cool this is. It just hangs from this large overarching metallic thing. It just skims the water. Very cool. I don't even know what you'd call it, this ferry system. The platform doesn't even seem to touch the water. We're just kind of floating above it. Here it stopped to allow for a ship to pass. Kendra's head is getting prettier, isn't it? Yes, it is. Look at that pretty road. Well, after a few days of setbacks, wind, customs issues on the D-Tax, also the purchasing of the bike, we're finally starting to get some miles going. Bright, beautiful day, wind is either not a factor or at our backs. Join life. Cool little village. Check out these old cannons or what? Carts of some sort. So I'm riding down the road, I have my panniers on the front of my bike and the rack just broke. The screw came out. I guess this thing was set up for display and not necessarily tightened down for real use. How disappointing. Well, we got it fixed. Thank goodness Roland was carrying some extra parts and so... Yeah, here's the thing, you yeah. You gotta carry plenty of these in, you know, whatever varying lengths you can. And with a little washer. And washers. Just Almost saved us. everything comes apart with all these rough roads and balancing and everything. So they'll come in handy for sure. Nice wide road, one of the D roads, hardly traveled at all by cars. Makes very pleasant and fairly fast riding, huh? It is. No popples, no cross trees. No root buckles. You have the root buckles. At mid-morning, we stopped at a Crossroads Cafe for a quick refresher and a bathroom break. And there, the route suddenly took a turn for the worse. One of the few times we've been commuted onto a road with no bicycle infrastructure at all. Busy, no lane, no trail, no options. Just uh, maybe 10 miles competing with the cars for space. Trucks have been uh, polite and have been slowing down, waiting for an open time to pass, but it's not a fun way to ride for sure. done much filming today. I've been in traffic. It's nice to come upon a little town. Right? Left. Let that adrenaline ease down a bit. Got a rooster statue in this town. Now uh, we go left here. Lovely beach out here. This is Royan and some gorgeous beachside homes too. Beautiful day, mid 70s, very light breeze. Having a great day of riding today. Getting a bunch of miles in, feels good. Our time on Le Valadesse was nearly at an end. Our route would soon veer inland to join the route of the Canal du Garonne. And as much as we enjoyed the seaside section, we were ready for a change of scenery. Today we would say au revoir to another chapter in our French saga. Stop to have some lunch, and we're at a beautiful beach. Boy, I'm so tempted to get my feet in there, but we got another 20 miles to go. Next beach, sure is pretty. Had a wonderful sit-down lunch with uh, the sandwiches that we made from breakfast this morning at the hotel. Sorry about that, folks. I know you're technically not supposed to do that. We can't eat all of our breakfast all in one shot, I guess. Kind of a luxury style of bike touring, isn't it? Just riding here along this European coastline. Very lovely. Just follow this road. Now 
of a bouncy little sea path route. We're following what I'm calling the uh, Bay of Bordeaux, but I haven't seen any name for it on the map. But uh, very nice, very lovely. Beautiful seaside. Yeah, the sun's just been great. The wind has been great. It's been a beautiful day. It really has been. We've been able to get a bunch of miles in. And we've got maybe 10 more to go. I don't know if it's all going to be on this path or not, but if it is, that's pretty cool because this is really easy going riding. And we've got our favorites. Hey, beauties. Until I find out a bit different, it's the Bay of Bordeaux. When we reached the Garonne estuary, we found a gravel trail that led us along the wide mouth of the river and into a lovely countryside. At some point, we stumbled upon the most amazing fortified village, Telmont sur Garonde. Perched upon a promontory with sheer cliffs that dropped straight into the waters below, the village was founded in 13th century Aquitaine. It can be seen for miles along the coast. Let's check out what this thing is here. See if we can find anything out. Gorgeous. Ooh. We picked up some gifts at a boutique shop in the village and then headed out of town as the sun was getting low in the sky and we still had some miles to go. We followed the estuary in a southeast direction towards Bordeaux and into increasingly beautiful scenery with vineyards and a rolling lush landscape that inspired our love of the beautiful France that we came to see. Wow, this is so beautiful. The farther south we get, the more beautiful it is. Just breathtaking. My God, look at this. The roads that lay open are many. Woo! And the old one's gone on the night. Oh, this gets so much and nicer. I
So Juliana's having trouble with her derailleur, front derailleur. Seems to have gotten off kilt a little bit. A little trouble in paradise. We'll have to check it out. Hopefully there's a bike shop or maybe we can figure out a minor adjustment. It sure is beautiful out here. Just entered into a whole new region near Cognac. Skeeters are out of this world. They seem to like the beauty too. I'm getting bit in the back, in the arms, even though I'm covered. We gotta get some speed going here. Get rid of these things. All right, found something. Mine are interested in a little kielbasa. You're getting my back. I can't get them off my back. All right, pretty little forest path to wrap up our day. We've got less than two and a half miles. That's uh, about 400 in mosquito bites. And when you see a veer right, veer right. I think that's it, yeah. And we are, it says we're going straight. Hold on, let me check before we do anything. Down? It's uh, down. Down. Hope your brakes are working good. Yeah, how pretty that is. Skeeters are eating us alive every time we stop. But what a beautiful place. After a stunningly beautiful afternoon ride, and after a missed turn that cost us nearly three miles and probably hundreds of feet of climbing, we made our way into the village of morton sur garonde and up to our hotel, ran by the kindest gentleman who made dinner reservations for us in the town below. And we made it to our place. God, I hope we can eat tonight. Very. C'est bon après le le vélo. Yeah. C'est nécessaire. Yeah. Ah yes. Lovely hotel here, and I don't even know where we are. Gonna go take a little nighttime walk and get some dinner. He was kind enough to call in a reservation. What a good guy. Really cool. Look at this. Ah, smoked up pizza, mozzarella. Roland got the most beautiful canard. Smoked duck, roasted duck. Love this little restaurant. It's fabulous. Hard day riding. And this woman is a doll, and this food is just amazing. And a good bottle of Bordeaux wine. Rode 48 miles. 44 and change. 44 and change, yep. And uh, ready for a good meal. It's been a good day. A good day indeed. Bordeaux, here we come. Well, something's gotta give today is a good